my Spyderco knife line up in the order that I have had them. The Mannix 2 XL ball bearing lock knife G10 3.88 inch blade. And where is it made? Golden Colorado Earth. Right there. Yep, I lie not. Needs to be sharpened. I've had this a while. I use it frequently. Very nice knife. Very reasonable price. The Blade HQ is only going for $160. Overall length is 8.94. Satin finish. Stainless steel frame liner. Right hand, left hand. Tip up. Ball bearing lock. Nice, nice. Jimping where you want it. Jimping where you don't want it. Very nicely done right up in here. I don't make them like that much anymore. Second, look at that blue, translucent, Mannix 2 lightweight, 3.39 inch blade. Oops, out of stock. What are you going to do? About $105 at Blade HQ. Overall length is 8 inches. Blade length 3.37. You have a 2.8 inch cutting edge. Blade style, drop point. I like me a good drop point. Finish, satin. Handle length is about 4.5, right hand, left hand. Weight is only 3 ounces. Thumb hole, ball bearing lock. And made in the USA. Golden Colorado, Earth. Look at that shine. Look at that blue. Next up, Spider Co. Native 5 Lightweight Dark Blue 3 inch satin finish CPM S10V. Golden Colorado Earth. You seeing a pattern here, people? Two point four inch cutting edge, drop point, satin, two point four five ounces, tip up. Mm. Nice knife. Got a back lock. Very sweet. Jimping where you want it. Just just handles just your hand just falls right into place, right where it should be. Next up, what is this monstrosity? It's a warm clip blade. Imagine that. Spider Koyo Jimbo. Two. Yeah, buddy. Look at that shine. 7.5 inches overall. Damn it, man. Blade length 3.1, cutting edge 2.95. It's a CPM S30V. Satin finish. Handle length is 4.5 G10. Stainless steel liners. Weight is 4 ounces. Right hand, left hand. Tip up, tip down. You can switch it over easy enough. You notice one thing here. There's no lanyard hole. From as my understanding, this Warncliffe uh, guy, Michael Janet, he doesn't like lanyards. I don't blame him. I'm not too fond of them either. Beautiful blade. You can get your thumb right up in there. It's very nice. Very nice. Not a whole lot of jimping, but this one doesn't seem to need it.
Nicely done, a little change of place, a little change of pace. You have a compression lock, easy to open, easy to close. I'm not flipping them as well as I could because I do sort of have a confined space right now. And I don't want to hit anything. There you go, there's the Yojimbo. And last, my newest, the Yojumbo. If you're going to have a Yojumbo, I think you need a Yojumbo. It's got the same compression lock. Black G10, very grippy. 4-inch satin blade of S30V. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, they're dirty. I use them. What do you want? Hmm. Got G uh, MJ for Michael Janich, Janich, excuse me, and Golden Colorado USA Earth. Imagine that. Look at that bad boy. Now that's a blade. Yeah, that's like a utility knife on steroids. Hmm. Nine point two overall. Cutting edge 3.87. Wow. Warm cliff, hollow grind, satin finish, handle length 5.37. Frame liner, stainless steel, right hand only. Hmm, that's different. And designer, as I said, Michael Janich. Now to give you a little bit of insight on the Yojimbo and the Yojumbo. There you go. Now you're getting the whole picture. Okay? Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time.